What's up everybody? It's Travis here from Travis.media. Today, my coding community is live. If you don't know what I'm talking about, a while back, I put out a poll on YouTube telling people I was toying with the idea of creating a community, a coding community, a place where aspiring developers and developers that are looking to grow can come together and meet their goals and be encouraged and find accountability, not in isolation, but in a community. And over 500 of you expressed some sort of interest. So I put it together in a couple of days ago, I released a video with all of the details. So make sure you go back and watch that. I explain what it is, what it isn't, pricing and things like that. So if you don't know what I'm talking about still, go back to the last video. I'll put a link above and watch that, get the information and then come back. Because today I'm gonna walk you through how to get started and how to use this community now that it's live. So let's get started. So first thing, go to travis.media and put the word community in front of it, community.travis.media. And the first thing you'll notice is that everything is telling you to become a member. That's because it's behind a paywall. And like I said in my last video, the first month, try it out for two bucks. That's low enough so anybody can join and try it out for a month and is enough to keep those who aren't serious out. So the first thing you can do if you wanna become a member, if you wanna try this community out for two bucks, just click on become member. And you'll get to the sign up form. So I'm gonna sign up, put in my email. Uh, my name is Travis. Actually, I have a couple of test users named Travis. Let's do something else like Ted. Country is USA. Position, this is gonna be like your title, I guess DevOps, software engineer, cybersecurity specialist, whatever. I'm gonna just put DevOps. And then Twitter, you can put your Twitter handle. That's optional. And then there's a series of questions. What am I currently learning? So I'm gonna put JavaScript and Python. Skill level, choose your skill level. Let's say that I've been learning for six plus months, but not quite a year, so choose that. My course of learning, like what course am I taking now to learn to code? Am I using one of my blueprints? Am I using Udemy courses, uh, YouTube? Am I in a boot camp? am I in college? Choose here, I'm gonna say Udemy courses. And what do I wanna get out of this community? Let's just say I want to learn backend coding and land a job in six months. Now the point of these questions is once you get in the community, you'll be able to search for people that are learning the same technology as you, are on the same skill level as you, and then if somebody's like working through the Python AWS blueprint, you can find those people and work through it together. So it's a way for you to meet others in the community that are doing the same thing as you that have the same path as you in this journey. And I'll show you how to use that in a minute. So I've answered those questions. Now I'll choose my membership type. I'll choose the premium community plan because that's the only membership. There's not tiers with this thing. And it is $15 monthly, as I mentioned in the last video, but it's just $2. I'll give you the coupon in a minute. And you'll need to accept the Travis Media terms of use. If you click on that, it's just five things. One, no politics. Two. There's no promises, no guarantees by joining. I can't promise you a job, but I can give you the skills and the confidence to go out there and get one. Third, we want to build each other up here. Constructive criticism is good, but we all want to grow. Let's all grow together. Fourth, Sundays, I won't be around. I might pop in and out, but the community will function as normal. And then five, make sure to read the read me first. I'll show you that in a minute. So accept those terms and choose apply. And all of a sudden there's a captcha, so make sure to choose I am not a robot and click apply. And then you get to payment information. So the promo code for the $2 month is $2 August. T-W-O-D-O-L-L-A-R-S, August. Dollar is plural, $2 August. And that'll get you to the $2 month. So click save. And you'll see here the total discount is $13, leaving you to pay only two. And then finally, I enter my card number, which I'll do off camera. So I'm gonna fill this in, click submit, and I'll come back when that's done. And then it says check your email inbox to verify your email. So let me do that. And it says your membership is approved. Click activate my account to activate the account. So I'm actually gonna copy that and paste it in a different browser. Paste that here and it'll prompt me to create a password. So let me create a password. Make sure you choose a secure one and save and log in. And that brings you to a login page, so go ahead and log in. Enter your password. 
And I do have on two-factor authentication, it's just something I like. So you're gonna have to put in the verification code in your email, but choose remember browser if you don't wanna do this in the future. So I'm gonna put in this six digit code and submit, and I should be logged in now. And then just accept the terms of use. It's basically the terms that I mentioned earlier, no politics, no harassment, uh, be gracious, all of that stuff, continue and you are a member of the community. So what's the first thing you should do? The first thing you should do is go to read me. New, please read this, click on it. Scroll down and let's go through this. Profile setup, start updating your profile. This is very important because you want others to be able to find you. You wanna be able to locate others. We wanna know information about you and what your goals are and things like that. So do fill in your profile. So I'm gonna to go to mine. I can put in like where I work. In some of this you don't have to. Put in where I work, my education. For things like address, just put, you know, if you just wanna put your country or your state, just choose to do that. You don't have to get all personal on us here. My membership is the premium community plan. And then down here in other are those questions you answered in the application. So what am I currently learning? What's my skill level? What's my course of learning? All of that. And make sure you put a photo in there. I'd hate to see a bunch of these gray circles everywhere. Find a photo, put a photo in there so we can see who you are. Also, regarding the profile, go up here to this drop down and choose settings and fill in more information. So I got a last name, tell us about yourself if you want, and you can decide, hey, I don't want my profile to be visible. You can hide it. I don't know why you would, but you're free to do that. Here's your social networks, the visibility of your profile, so the work, the education, the email, the phone. You can decide whether that's visible or not. There's lots of flexibility here. Job, I'm looking for a job. If you're looking for a job, make sure you click that. I think that puts you here under job seekers if you do. Messaging, so you can choose here whether you want to receive private messages from other members or not. And you can also do the same with email, whether you want to receive email or not. And then next, there's like blood type. We don't need to know that. I don't know why that's here. Just skip over that. And then finally, boards. You can subscribe to boards. So you got a lot of flexibility here. Just wanted to mention this. Second, go and introduce yourself to the community. So there's a board here called introductions. Just click on new post. So just say hello or whatever you want and then a little bit about yourself so that we can know you. That's what we wanna do here. So introduce yourself first. Post to this board. And that will, of course, show up in the main feed. So that's second. Next, there's announcements, which will come out every now and then. Um, connect with other members. You can click on that and view some of the other members here. Or you can just click on members here on the left. You can also, and this is very important, you can also go to directory under pages. Just click on directory. And you can sort. So if I want to find somebody that's working in Python, I can just choose Python and search and it'll show me two people with a Python interest. And you see here, it's two out of four people. And then if I wanna search based on skill level or what course they're taking in their learning, or if I wanna search by name, state, or country, then you can do so here. That's why it's important to fill out your state, your country, just basic stuff like that, your first and last name. But remember, the directory, this is where you wanna find like-minded people, and that's under pages. And I'm gonna to get to these here in just a minute. Next, you can manage your payments here on the left if you scroll down and find the membership section and choose manage. You can get all your payment information here. Um, find a job. This is something I'm not really utilizing at the moment, but if you have a job or know of jobs and wanna post it for others to see, that would be great. And then you can also put in your profile that you're looking for a job, maybe you guys can link up. Now the main part of this is getting used to the navigation, like where things are at. So you can read about all this here. I'd rather just go to the page and show you. So here's all the navigation information. And then finally, there's a mobile app. The service that this is through has a mobile app. You can click on it and you can find the Travis Media community in the mobile app. I haven't really done that, so I don't know how good it is, but you can try it out information's here. So let's go to the main feed. So this page is your main feed. This is where you're going to see all of the latest information. And you can sort here by latest, oldest, popular, likes. You'll see here that everything can be liked. There can be comments. You can share. You can follow. But let's look at content. So let's start with boards. These are like discussion boards. We have announcements, ask me anything, all of these boards here. So if you wanna go in the general discussion board, just click there. You can see posts by everybody. You can post yourself a new post in the board. So if I say, uh, this is a post, hello all, I can send that. That's gonna show up here. You can click on it, you can read it, you can like it, you can comment on it. This is a comment, there's your comment. And if I go back to the feed, 
I'm going to see that on the feed. But boards is kind of generic. I tried to get more specific here on the left so that you don't have to go to boards and find the board you're looking for. You can find it easier here in the navigation. So we have an announcements board. We have an introductions board where you introduce yourself. We have two blueprint boards. So I do have a web developer blueprint and an AWS Python blueprint, which guides you through an entire learning to code all the way up into the interview in six months. And if you're part of this community, you get those blueprints for free. You get to take my courses for free. I'll talk about that in a minute. But if you're deciding to do one of those blueprints, you'll want to find other people that are also going through it and link up and write about it. If you have trouble with something, if someone's ahead of you and you just want advice, or if you want to work through it together, whatever, that all goes down in that board. Just post away, comment away, whatever. Next, we have the weekly katas. So every week we'll do a kata or algorithm challenge together to stay sharp. Feel free to join in. We'll use katas from codewars.com. So get signed up there. I use my GitHub account to sign in. Just do that. And the kata for this week is here in that board or it's on the main feed. So we're gonna do an easy one called Lario and Muigi pipe problem. You can find it here, choose the language you're familiar with, and then later in the week, we'll share our answers and talk about it. So this is gonna be posted every week. A new one will be posted every week and it'll keep us sharp. And you'll see that's here on the homepage. Next, weekly content. So I'm gonna be putting out a lot of content during the week. That's gonna be here. Certifications, are you taking any certifications? If you are, what certification is it? Do you have a plan? Do you have a date? Can we do anything to help you out? Let us know here. Next, general discussion. If you have any questions, any kind of discussion you wanna have, post it there in general discussion. And then finally, ask me anything. If you have a question directly for me, ask it here, I'll answer it. Next, we have pages. So there's a page called Community Resources. If you go to that, you'll see the downloads for the Web Developer Blueprint and the AWS Python Blueprint. Download those there. If you're gonna buy any Udemy courses, I'm gonna keep a list of Udemy deals for the month here so that you'll get the best price. Just wait until one of these windows to buy your Udemy courses and you'll get them for 12 to 15 bucks. That's the community resources. Video archive is I release videos throughout the weeks. I'm just gonna keep a big archive here. So if you're new to the community and it's got months behind it, you can go back and find content that was released here. And then the directory, we talked about the directory, do find people. And maybe this is a good time to mention that you can, like if I click on Travis Yahoo, it's just a test member, you can send messages. You can send a message here, or you can go up here to this little message icon and send direct messages to people back and forth. So you make a friend on here, or if you're working directly with someone on here, you wanna send messages back and forth, go ahead. You wanna send me a message? Go ahead. All right, the last sections, courses. My bike rental app course, which is a blockchain course, which may not interest many of you. And if you have a goal and you're set going somewhere else, don't take this course. It'll get you sidetracked. But anyway, it's here if you wanna take it. All of the videos are here. And the same thing with the JavaScript 30 course. 30 JavaScript methods in 12 days. Feel free to take those to get better at JavaScript. Next, we have a connections section. I don't like this a whole lot. I'm probably gonna take some of these out, but you can click on members to see all of the members. You can click on companies to sort by companies or countries or cities. Or if you're looking for jobs and someone posts one, you'll see it here. There are none at the moment, but there are job seekers, which is me, but I'm not looking for a job. I was just testing it out. But put yourself there if you are, it doesn't hurt. That's the connection section. And then there's the features requests section. So if you're using this app day after day, and there's things you want to see introduced or things that would make the community better, please post them here. Just click requests, click new post, and let me know. I need your feedback. I wanna make this a place that you all have a say in. So please, any feature requests, any ideas you have, just click requests here and let me know. And then two more sections and we're done. Next is membership. You can manage your membership. I think I already talked about this. And then finally, the support section. So if you have an issue, you really can't resolve it, post it here and we'll figure it out for you. So that's an overview. Um, if you go back to the main page, you wanna search for something, search in the box. If I wanna find out what the last kata was, I just put that there and search for it and it'll give me posts and boards and everything with the word kata in it. And I think that's it. I hope that was helpful. I hope to see you in the community, and I'm looking forward to making this an awesome place. I'll see you there.